Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of an ink review. Today, we are looking at a blue blackish ink from Diatramentis, Diatramentis Ferdinand von Zeppelin. Um. Thanks go out to the OC Pen Club for providing the sample for this review. So, how is everyone doing today? Hello, Shay Shay Girl. How are you doing today? Before we start, I'm going to share this with my friends at this time. I would encourage you to share this with your friends so that they can come and hang out with us too. I have noticed that lately... When I open the YouTube Studio app to view the show, as you can see, it like hardcore lags. So I have to open up a separate window with that on there. If you guys stream, do you notice that too? Let me know in the comment section below. So we're going to share this with our friends so that they can come and hang out with us friends. and um, hopefully this won't be too laggy or anything. So oh, damn it, I just, I keep wanting to close this one tab, but I need it for my explanation. Hi Will, how are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? All right, so this is Diatramentus Ferdinand von Zeppelin, and um, a little bit of backstory for of uh, Ferdinand. Ferdinand was the kind of the person who invented the hot air uh, kind of the, the Zeppelin. This is the good air the blimp. Basically, the Goodyear blimp. So, yay, thank you, Ferdinand, for inventing the, uh, the Goodyear blimp. <laughs> he did a couple of other things, but, uh, nobody's interested in that. <laughs> so, here it is. This is a fairly dark blue ink. See if I can bring the lights up a little bit so you can see it does have just the tiniest bit of shading, but in reality, it's about that dark. So it's a fairly dark blue black ink. So if you're thinking thoughts about getting this ink, that is something to be aware of. <laughs> um, theme. Does that make this better or worse? Better. All right, so here is our comparison panel, and you do see that right on the corner right here, it does have the tiniest bit of red sheen, but you really don't see that in any of the writing. Here is our ink swatch, a water resistance test shows that it does have a little bit of water resistance. However, it kind of smooshes out the, um, if you were to do this with writing, it would kind of not be great to put on the outside of an envelope. <clears throat> Here is our ink swatch and our painting of the day. And, uh, it does have a little bit of red sheen along the edge here, which is kind of cool. There you can see it a little bit. So that's very nice. And here is our toilet paper chromatography. This is very interesting. It has this like purple bit in the middle and then a dark blue bit and a little bit of blue black along the edge and then right along the edge here 
there's like this murky green color. Well, you guys can't see it too good. But it's just like a kind of a murky green. So it's like purple, blue, black, and like a murky green. Which is very interesting. <clears throat> Did I say hi, Will? Hello, Will. Alright. Let's do some paper review, shall we? <clears throat> this is the Pen and Gear Memo book. From Walmart.com. Hi, Ron. How are you doing today? I can't tell if that is Sheen or if it's um, if it's not Sheen, but maybe just a little bit. I did put it very heavily down on the page. So, all right. This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. There's no feathering. No bleeding and no ghosting. This is lightweight traveler's notebook paper. I messed up the uh, first word because I was watching a YouTube video and they said pelican and I wrote pelican. <laughs> but there is a little bit of sheen and no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. This one had a little better... Uh, a ability to grab the paper, which is nice. Nice sheen, no feathering, normal amount of bleeding and ghosting. This is Moleskin 70 GSM. Oi! Feather like a chicken. If it would let me turn the page. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. This is Field Notes Journal. Also, Feather Like a Chicken, bled through the page. Fabriano Equal Qua, 85 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is 52 GSM, Tomoe River, nice sheen. No shading, no, no feathering, and no bleeding, and a minimal amount of ghosting. Okay, this is a Yush 100 GSM paper. There's a little bit of sheen and no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is the Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. Oh, oh excuse me. This does have a nice amount of sheen. Minimal amount of feathering, no bleeding, and barely any ghosting. This is Marmon Nemosony 80 GSM dot grid. Nice, very nice, no feathering. Little bit of bleeding, little bit of ghosting. Nope, that's the day before. This is today's, and there's no feathering, no bleeding, and no ghosting. This is Oxford Optic Paper. A little bit of shading, no feathering. Mm. No bleeding and no ghosting. Nice. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. Mm, no feathering. No bleeding and a minimal amount of ghosting. Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, but a little bit of ghosting. Exceed, 100 GSM, heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. This is spreading into the page. A little bit of feathering, oh, and bleeding and heavily... Bleeding and ghosting. Oi. Alright, this is Up and Up Wide Roll Composition Book from Target.com. Nice shading. No feathering. Little bit of bleeding and a little bit of ghosting. All right, 
right, this is True Red Composition Book from staples.com. Oi. Look at all that feathering. Good lord. And it did bleed and ghost through the page. This is the Nanami Seven Seas 68 GSM Tomoe River. Nice amount of sheen. No feathering, no bleeding, and a minimal amount of ghosting. This is um, Ronia Dot Pad 80 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Buffet Handmade Paper from Italy. It is feathering into the page, but no bleeding, no ghosting. Use style notebook paper. <clears throat> Oi. Feather like a chicken. Bled to the page. CVS caliber notebook paper. Nice sheen. No feathering. No bleeding and barely any ghosting. <coughs> Oxford notebook paper. Nice sheen. No feathering. No bleeding and a minimal amount of ghosting. Mead wide rolled notebook paper. Oi. Feather like a chicken, bled to the page. Five star notebook paper. Oi. Feather like a chicken, bled to the page. HP premium, 32 pound copy paper. Oi. Feather like a chicken, bled to the page. JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNailBooks.com. It is feathering into the page and it did bleed through the page. Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. Not too bad on the feathering. And barely any bleeding and barely any ghosting. Hmm. This is a weird ink. Some papers it bleeds through completely and others it just doesn't even go through. Totally weird. Okay. What color is this ink? This is definitely a dark blue ink. So... Sorry, I'm trying to get it so that I can get everything in here. Where am I going to start? Mm, mm, light blues? No. Maybe some regular blue? Yeah, we'll start with the regular blues. Alright. There's Lamy Blue. <coughs> Cross Blue. Aurora Blue, Jaba, Kainai Du Nepal, Colorverse Blue, I'm sorry, Birmingham Blue Bonnet, Diamine Arctic Blue, Vinta Inks Cosmos, Troublemaker Simone, Birmingham Angelfish, Diatromentus Robert Louis Stevenson South Seas Blue, Waterman Mysterious Blue, KWZ Sheen Machine. And the 
Those are all the medium blues. Let's try some blue blacks. Mm. Mm, Cenote, Bloody Brigzet. No, 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 no. No. Okay, here we go. Diamond Hell's Bells. It's more closer. Diamond Deep Dark Blue. Twisby Midnight Blue. Monteverdi Blue Velvet Cake. Fountain Pen Revolution Blue Black. Venta Inks Blue Blood. Diamond Upon a Star. Organic Studio Ralph Waldo Emerson Twilight Blue. Diamond Stargazer. Eh. No. No. Mm, Diamond Robert. Diamond Storm. What about some gray blues? Let's see. No, 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 no. Crystal Benetite. No, 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 no. Lamy Blue Black. Nemesine Blue Snowball Nebula Twinkle. Mm. Mm. Scree Scribes Ink Royal. Uh, scree Scribes Ink Real Dark Blue. These are the closest ones that I have to this ink. This one's kind of on its own, huh? Well, do you guys have this ink? Are you guys looking for a, a blue-black? Be careful of the paper that you use with it because it does bleed through a good most of them. So, unless you're using Tumbleway River or one of the better papers, probably not the best ink for those. All right. Well, that is all I got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, make sure it's set to all, so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Oh, good luck, bye, have a great day.